Hi, my name is Raja. I'm in grade 9 at Alatif International School in Bandung, Indonesia. Hi, my name is Rahma. I'm in grade 8 at Alatif International School in Bandung, Indonesia. Hi, my name is Zahra. I'm in grade 8 at Alatif International School in Bandung, Indonesia. The title of our project is an optimized and improved mini-circuit modeling and simulation of inductive wireless power transfer for low voltage devices. Inductive wireless power transfer is characterized with a great deal of power losses and it's not really optimized. In this project, we have managed to optimize and improve the wireless power transfer. Besides that, we have also managed to design a simple model circuit for it. Stay tuned. So first of all, we are going to do an optimization from the frequency response. The frequency response is a graph of output power again frequency. Then we can select the frequency with the maximum power. First, we run the socket and we stop it after a few seconds. We go to grapher and choose AC analysis and then we simulate. We can delete the spaces because it's not required. This is our frequency response. The output power is maximum at the frequency range from 200 to about 500 Hz. So, in our project to optimize the wireless power transfer, we can use the frequency of 400 Hz. In our project, we have managed to come up with two ways to improve the wireless power transfer. The first way is the use of the capacitor in parallel with the both coils. As you can see, on the first circuit without the capacitor, the power was 5.748. And the second circuit, the power was 8.444 watts. That means the power has been improved by the capacitor. So the second way to improve the wireless power transfer is the use of woven its wire. A woven its wire is the wire that has a very low equivalent resistance. When we set R100 and RS100 ohms, the power obtained was 8.444 watts. Then we change the RS to 50 ohms. Then the wireless power was improved to 11.471 watts. And the last one we try to reduce both R R1 and RS to 50 ohms. The wireless power was even improved to 70 watts. So, you can see that wireless power become more and more improved when you reduce the equivalent resistance. That means, by using the woven lead wire, the wireless power is improved. So, as you can see, the supply is AC and the AC voltage is going to be transferred wirelessly to the secondary circuit. Uh, then, the RL is actually our load. It can be a handphone, or a smartwatch or something else. The circuit is already op uh, improved and uh, optimized because the frequency is uh, 400 Hz. But also, we use the bridge rectifier uh, to change the AC supply from the primary circuit to the DC because the device depends on the DC voltage. But also since our device is a low voltage device, we have to use the voltage regulator to regulate the voltage from 18 volts to about 5 volts. Okay, that's all from our project. Thank you.